This is Anok from PowerSoft. I'm a system consultant at PowerSoft. In this video, I'm going to walk you through uh, a custom barcode label that we have uh, developed, which allow retail operations. In this case, I'm going to use a pharmaceutical operation to do a quick text demo for you to be able to have an idea how this solution works. The label print basically will allow to generate an invoice or an order. It can be taken to a cashier and cashier can digitally retrieve the details without selecting the customer name and then mentioning the amount they need to pay, which will save time in terms of operations. So let's assume that this is a pharmaceutical retail operations, right? So assume I am done. Here is no mandatory referring practitioner. This is the doctor you can see from here. That will be taking care of the patient. Now from this side, uh, the ask, I will just select some parameter, but not to worry about it for this customer as it, uh, for this call center as it can be automated. From here, uh, I'm just going to select like uh, some uh, Items. So let's assume the customer want need 50 of this. I'll go ahead and select uh, maybe some other item. So it can be any item, and we can you know we can easily check whatever that it is there. Uh, so I do not know most of the items of it. So let's say this item. Maybe we need like let's say uh, 20 of that. So you can keep adding and adding, and that is it. So I'll just delete this. So let's assume that we are done, right? So from here, the the user will basically save this, and then you can see from here there is no barcode here, but we're going to generate a barcode on issuing of the document, right? So we have saved this invoice. It is showing unpaid. We can take a print out of the invoice from here. That is for the receipt for the customer. And this is the barcode that has generated automatically, instantly. Now, to print out, if you want to print the receipt, you can print from here. You want to print the invoice barcode, just execute this, and voila, this is the barcode over here. So the company name will show at the bottom. What I'm going to do is that because I do not um, have a printer connected to this at this present time, I'm just going to take a short uh, picture of it with my phone, okay? And I will send it to probably my WhatsApp and show it to the barcode device, which is connected at the moment, and it makes a sound, right? So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so now this is the cashier screen. Ideally, in most systems, you will find the cashier needs to specify the customer name, the amount they will pay against the invoice, right? But in this case, we have automated this with a label print. So all that uh, cashier will do is that always on this screen, you can see scan barcode is here, which is blanking. So for every new transaction, they will scan. So I have the image. What I'm going to do is to show to a barcode scanner. You hear a beep sound. Once you hear a beep sound, you will find all the fields here will get populated automatically. You can see it's just a short form, but there we go. Now let's dive straight into it. Here you go. You can see this is the invoice number. I did it more than once, right? So that is it. You can find that here. Um, this is the customer, John, and then you can find like the things like um, probably what account this money will go and all of that. They do not need to do anything. The invoice that was in question had an amount of, uh, it is the invoice, right? So let's look at the amount. It was 1649 This is the cashier screen. This is the amount to be paid, right? This is it. This can be grayed out. They don't need to touch anything. All that they need to do is if the mode of payment is going to change, like maybe Momo, maybe it's through Visa card or anything, then they need to straight away just change the mode of payment here. And that is it. They are done. Then they proceed to click on this submit button. And that is it. The invoice is settled, right? So payment has been done. The accounting ledgers will be booked in terms of whatever needs to be debited and credited. Uh, they may not have access to this, but you can see uh, whatever be the working customer name like John, you can see there is a, there was an initial debit, and then this is the corresponding credit against that particular water ledger, right? So that is it. You can find here this invoice though showing unpaid is because we need to refresh this button. So I will just refresh this, and you find that it is settled, and then it is sorted out. You can see. So this invoice has a payment link to it as well, right? So that is it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope it provides a solution 
that requires for the operation to save time. 